Sometimes your column will just fall over if you do that. So you need to make some decisions of your own. This is trying to replicate your pressure of your ski or your board on the surface of the snow. And we know the pressure pulse on most of our snow pack only extends about 70 centimetres down for the average weight, the average move on a board or on skis. So it really doesn't get, tell us too much about below 70 centimetres or so. We're also going to cut the top a little bit flatter so our shovel will sit on it. So what we cut off, it doesn't tell us anything about what we cut off. So there are some limits to this. I will have my um, saw with uh, permanent markings on it so I know what 30 centimetres is. Or you could just do it this way. But it's a uh, hassle having to do it this way, especially on a chair. So 30 centimetres is there. This one's easy, there's a patch of, um, of material here which is at 30 centimetres, so we could use that in the future. Cut this side. If you can finish somewhere within a fat layer, but not on anything that looks like it might break. So there's a faint line here. I'm going to go below that on both sides. And then here, angle it slightly. You've got to get your shovel in here. Angle it slightly so you can get the snow out pretty quickly because we're going to throw this away. Even though I'm going to throw it away, I am interested to 